Hi everybody, it's Duncan again. Uh, this is another part of our video series, how to start a window cleaning business right here in Australia. And uh, today we're going to talk about traditional window cleaning tools. Because the question is, what kind of tools do I need? What do you suggest is the best brands? Uh, where will I get the tools? So that's what we're gonna talk about today. So let's get right into it. the tools that you need. Now, the question comes up, do I just get traditional, that is squeegees, washers, uh, and various things like that, or do I invest also in the water-fed pole part of the industry? Do I go the whole hog, as the saying goes? Well, a number of different window cleaning gurus that uh, have videos on YouTube will, if you check their stuff out, they will say that it's really good to get experience in traditional window cleaning first. And I agree with that concept. It's all very well to go and get everything, but until you know how to use traditional tools, how you get to know the different types of glass that you're going to be dealing with, it's very difficult then to say, I'm going to be used, I'm going to know what to do with water fed pole. And the, the importance is that you're going to need traditional tools anyway. It's rare here in Australia that people only want the external work done. Generally speaking, you're going to have to go inside the office, you're going to go inside the home and window clean inside. You're going to need to use traditional tools. So it's really important that you get very experienced at traditional tools. So being able to use them on the right windows some surfaces you cannot put a window cleaning squeegee on that surface because of how it's been treated maybe that the windows have been tinted after the place has been built you know it's been retrofitted so you have to learn all those skills and to get experience with traditional tools is really really important now you may very shortly after you start your business also invest in water fed pole the pure water systems that if you want to read more about it you can read on my blog on my win on my website but having tra experience with traditional tools is really really important it's like an apprentice in a trade such as carpentry cabinet making a plumber you know he learns how to use the basic tools first and then he progresses on to the big stuff on the big machinery the big equipment the, the powerful equipment because he already knows some of the important skills on the basics of that particular trade. And window cleaning is no different. So it's important to start with your traditional tools. So we really want to try and, you, you wanna have a good toolkit, a toolbox of, of tools that are effective. Now, the question comes up, because I guess if you've already done some research and gone onto some of the websites that supply window cleaning tools, you'll see a variety of brands. There's a Torre, Sorbo, Unger, Mormon, Stacconi, Pulex, the list goes on and on. And there's often new ones that are invented. Wagtail's a big one that was invented here in Australia. So you've got a number of different tools. And the question is, which is the best brand? Well, I'll ask you a question. Do you like coffee? What's the best brand of coffee? Uh -huh, I see. <laughs> it's personal taste. So, the cafe that you love and the coffee that you like may be different to me, but we still love coffee. We still love a good espresso. We still love a good macchiato, whatever it is that we drink. Personal taste. And at times with window cleaning tools, it's personal taste. When I started back in 1996, the people that trained me said, Duncan, you have to have the Torre tools and you have to have the, the 36 inch hound dog squeegee like this three foot squeegee. So it's the best thing for you when you've got large panels. And I had barely started window cleaning. I didn't know how to use that effectively. I eventually had to get rid of those tools because I didn't find them worked with my style of window cleaning. But they are an effective and a very powerful brand and people use them and uh, they adore that brand because it fits with their personal taste. So the reality is with tools, what you buy at the start of your business 
may not be what you have five years down the track, 10 years down the track. And I can guarantee that in a few minutes when I show you my current toolbox, the tools that I currently use, none of these were the brands that I used when I started in the late 90s. And, and, the, and the importance of that is as not only do you uh, learn new tools, learn new skills, but new things are developed by companies and you want to be able to progress in what you use because some tools are quite effective and investing in new tools will increase your efficiency. So I want to show you now what tools I have. And you see this uh, 90 second video uh, screen slideshow that I've got. You'll see what I've got in my bucket every day and the various things that I have, which will give you an idea as to the type of tools that you will need. I haven't included just about everything, like there's uh, little bits of scrapers and detailing cloths. You can add those to the to this uh, the slideshow. But what I'm going to show you basically shows what I have. A and you may wonder why I have so many. We'll talk about that after you watch it. So what do you think? Did you get an idea of the type of tools? Now, I did a calculation that all of those tools that you saw, if I was to buy them all at once, it would cost me well over $1,600, $1,700 to buy all those tools all at once. So th those tools that you saw, I have progressively added to my toolbox as time has gone by. As I've learnt new things, for instance, the Mormon brand is only something I've been using for the last 18 months, I've added to that. Secondly, you'll see that some of those tools are there are duplicates, you need to have backup. Sometimes something will break, you'll lose something for some reason, you left it at a job, can't get, you know, can't get it back, you go back, they don't, they don't know where it is, you've got to have a backup job, backup tools so that you can use it straight away. So that's what that is too, is just having some backups. So what would be a good starter? Let's talk about that. If you were going to start out, what tools could you start off with and then add to as time goes on? You need a bucket, of course, that's number one. And get yourself a good solid bucket. Some of the cleaning stores that I've visited recently, they've got this, the little shallow buckets that are about 12 inches long, you can't get a decent washer in it, get yourself a bigger bucket that's a good ton gallon. And so uh, Atore produce those, Pulex produce those. Uh, you can even get them sometimes at Bunnings, the good deep window cleaning bucket, because you can carry a few tools, similar to the one that you saw in that uh, slideshow. So secondly, you'll need, I recommend at least three squeegees regular style of squeegees, uh, 18 inch, 14 inch, 6 inch are three good sizes to start with because an 18 inch is an easy one to start with, with being able to uh, get used to this, the fanning motion of window cleaning that you're going to need to develop that type of window cleaning technique. 
and having some smaller ones are good because you know when you have small panels you've got the right size so they're three that get you started you may want to start with a 22 inch but unless you've really developed some skills before you've started the business you may find that a little large so that's what I would recommend also start with three wagtail you saw those there in, in the screenshot they have when you research that you'll see that this is a pip got a pivoting head to it it's uh, won design awards it was designed here by in Australia and uh, many uh, window cleaners around the world find that it's a very effective tool particularly when you a window clean something that's a little higher on the end of a pole the window and the wagtail is quite effective so having an 18 inch a 14 inch and 6 inch of that as well you'll need some detailing cloths you can buy bags of those at uh, Bunnings but you can get them also some really good ones such as at uh, Window Cleaning World which we'll talk about in a minute they have cloths called blueies or you can buy some microfiber cloths so that you can detail edges but you'll need quite a lot of those because you can go through quite a few cloths in a day's activity you'll need some detergents you may want some commercial type detergents as you saw in that uh, slideshow or but you'll need something like that to keep going and have a supply so that you don't run out at the wrong time you'll need a, a reasonable size pole I recommend at least one that extends to 12 foot because that gives you some height but you may then in the future invest in a longer pole that uh, 20 24 feet because sometimes you will need that for some really high windows that you haven't yet invested in your waterfed pole but you'll need to use that for your squeegeeing so pull down squeegees and of course you'll need uh, washers and washer holders you'll notice that in that video I have two holders uh, because sometimes that uh, the pivot on it can break you want to be able to pull out one out of your vehicle straight away and use it and have multiple uh, sleeves don't just have two or three have a number of sleeves uh, the reason for that is because sometimes you'll clean a window and it has a lot of grease and mark uh, mark on it and that sleeve will basically you'll have to wash it before you use it again you want to be able to pull one out of the car and keep going in the day you don't want that to happen early in the day and that cruels the work you've got to do so have multiple sleeves some of them can get damaged because of what you've picked up in the cleaning job that you had sometimes the grease and stuff that's on a glass a piece of glass can really damage a sleeve so you want to have multiple sleeves available to use so that's like a starter kit some of the supply websites some of the manufacturers like a Torre Unger they give you some ideas of what a starter kit looks like and you can buy starter kits so that may be useful for you to follow as well now let's come to the last thing with regard to traditional tools and this information I'm going to share with you is regarding suppliers here in Australia now recently uh, here in Brisbane I've been to a number of cleaning stores they provide a lot of equipment for janitorial scrubbers for large complexes and chemicals for cleaning toilets and cleaning floors and things like that so they're covering all sorts of commercial cleaning many of those have very poor supplies they're great for a commercial cleaner but for a window cleaner they have very limited supply and so there are better ways in being able to source your equipment now I'd like to list the three key places here in Australia that you can do so actually two I'd recommend and three overseas we'll talk about the overseas in a minute the first one that I highly recommend is windowcleaningworld.com now the founder of that site Peter Erkin his brother is the inventor of Wagtail Peter knows everything to do with window cleaning whether it's water fed pole traditional tools he's had years in the industry and it was through him that I was first introduced to uh, Wagtail tools and I've been promoting Wagtail tools to people ever since but Peter knows everything and they have a very good website if you live in Sydney you can actually go to their shop in Marrickville walk in buy the stuff if you're elsewhere in the country they have very reasonable shipping rates and their website has just been updated so it's really modern and funky and you can find everything you need to know about getting traditional tools and uh, they will ship them directly to your door uh, at a very reasonable shipping rate 
The other one is in Melbourne, uh, windowcleaningsupplies.com.au. Uh, the team there, Will and Mark, are very knowledgeable with regard to the same thing. They've had years of experience with window cleaning services. They have so much information on traditional tools as well as water-fed uh, tools. Uh, they actually develop some water-fed systems that people invest in. So those two sites have everything you need to get you started. And the great thing is that if you find you need something in a hurry, you can order it first thing in the morning. They will ship it generally that, that day. And within a couple of days, it's in, in your hands ready to use if you need to replace something or you need to get something new for your toolbox. So there too in Australia, windowcleaningworld.com, as, as you know here on the screen, and windowcleaningsupplies.com.au. Now I'd like to talk too about two, three sites overseas. Firstly, the one in England is called Window Cleaning Warehouse, windowcleaningwarehouse.co.uk. They don't, you can't buy off their website and ship to Australia. They will ship to Europe, but if you uh, contact them by email or through their WhatsApp business uh, number, and you email your, your order with your PayPal identification, they will ship to you. But you'll, you're ordering it externally to the, their, their online store. But they have some remarkable stuff. Um, they, their squeegee rubber, razor red, you would have seen that in, the, in that uh, slideshow. That's probably some of the best squeegee rubber that I've used in 20 years, and I've only been using it in the last couple. They also have some great detailing cloths, the um, red microfiber. They're, that's, they're just brilliant. They have a number of tools that aren't available in Australia, but remember, you've got to factor in the shipping costs from overseas. The other site, the two sites in the United States that do ship to Australia, no problem about that. There are some others that won't. But window cleaning, windows, sorry, windows101.com are based in Seattle in northwestern United States. And they will ship to you here in Australia, to your door. Uh, Manny is the owner of that business. And you can call him if you want to, if you get the, the time zones right, and talk to him about what you need. Um, they will ship immediately and you can have it in your home. But remember, you've got shipping costs and you've got the difference of between Aussie dollar and the American dollar. But sometimes, even with that uh, currency difference, with Windows 101 and, and CWC Supply USA, which is another site in California, uh, even with the currency difference, it can sometimes still be cheaper for you to get it sourced from the States than getting it from a local supplier. Sometimes because those tools aren't available in Australia. So... They're the five, you see them here on the screen, they're the five different sources where you can have tools delivered to your door. You can start your toolbox. Uh, some of the more bulkier stuff, get locally, but some of the more specialty stuff, do your research, browse through their websites and learn what traditional tools you can add to your toolbox as time's gone by. So just in review then, and get some experience with traditional tools before you get into water-fed pole. That helps you understand all the different types of glass that you're dealing with. That's important. You'll understand that. That'll be beneficial to you in the future. After all, any internal work, generally speaking, will be with traditional tools. So you need to be good at that and you need to know how to use them efficiently. It's important to make sure that you've got uh, plenty of supplies of squeegee rubber because you're going to need to change that weekly. The, the, the more often you change the squeegee rubber, even if it's gonna cost you more each week, the more efficient you'll be. That's a factor that some window cleaners try to cut corners with and it causes some issues down the track. What brands? Well, that's a matter of choice. Do your research, talk to window cleaners locally, try their tools if uh, they'll let you do that. Uh, let them demo the tools uh, and maybe then you'll get an idea of what tools will be useful for your window cleaning toolbox. And I hope that the information with, regarding a starter kit, where to get those will be useful in you getting your business off, off the ground here in Australia. So don't forget, if you've got any questions about anything like that, don't 
be afraid to go to my Instagram page at McRae's Window Cleaning. Direct message me through that. You can ask me any question that you like, or you can leave a message here on this uh, on the YouTube channel, and I'll get back to you. Uh, those answers, of course, uh, no doubt will be there on the page as well, but that can help you if you've got any queries about what to use, what to what tools to buy to get you started in window cleaning in Australia. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and there's a notification bell that uh, gives you a reminder when we upload the next video. Uh, I want to talk next time about water-fed pole and pure water cleaning and some of the things that may help you with decision making on that area, particularly here in good old Australia. Uh, in the meantime, I hope everything works well with your plans to get your business started. And uh, we'll catch up with you next time and wish you all the very best. Bye for now. <laughs>